Hey guys, today I want to talk about loan sharks. Loan sharks are a big mess here in the Philippines and I'm going to explain why today. Although they help out the community and stuff like that by giving out loans, they do do one thing that messes it up for everybody that doesn't do those loans. And for people that try to use ATMs and stuff like that, they're a huge, huge mess. And here's, here's why. A lot of times I go to the bank in the morning and in the morning is usually when the machines are full. And usually you'll get somebody in front of you and they'll be there for 20 or 30 minutes. And after a while, you you know, and you might be way back in the line. So you, it's kind of hard for you to save something. And, and, and what happens is you see somebody and they're pulling out this big stack of cards, sometimes as many as 20 or 30 cards. And what they do is they have these little papers around them with an elastic band around each one. And they're writing things on there and they're putting each card in. They're loan sharks. They're people that do loans. And what happens is, is this, okay, is they take out huge amounts of money because this is money that they loan out. I've seen one lady, she's up there and she keeps putting in, in putting the same card because whoever took out the loan must have took out a good sized loan. So she's taken out approximately $400 off this one card, not to mention the other card. So God knows how much money she's taken off off each card. I'm sure some of them are smaller amounts and some of them are larger amounts. But I knew, do notice that the person had like a bundle of cash by the time that they were done. It was like about this thick in their, in their hand. And they, they keep putting in, some they put in their pocket so people don't notice or whatever. And sometimes the guards will say something if there's a guard there, and sometimes they won't. It depends on where you are. If you're outside a bank and the guard notices somebody's there, it's only supposed to be two transactions. And these, these, these people will do as many as 30 to 40 transactions sometimes. And they go in there in the morning and they clear out the, the ATM. Because what happens is it's not just one of them, it's many of them. There's a whole, sometimes there's as many as like two or three people in front of you that do loan sharking. So some of them are small time loan sharks, sometimes they're big time loan sharks. But what they do is they clean clean out the house. You know, this, this, they, they make it so that somebody that's going to the bank, sometimes at noon or, or two o'clock in the afternoon, you go there, the bank's already empty. The ATM's already empty. It's done. It's finished. You know, it, it's it's gone. And I've told you guys, I've gone to as many as 11 ATMs sometimes looking to try to get money and they're all empty. And sometimes, sometimes it's because it's the beginning of the month or it's a payday or whatever. I get that. But here's the problem. That on payday is when those people are out there too. And they're out there even more often on paydays. So they, they make it terrible on paydays because... Paydays, those machines should be filled up more often, and they're not. The bank, because the banks just figure we'll just let them run out. If they run out next day, they'll fill them up. And a lot of these these banks, I've t actually talked to some of the banks about this, saying, "Hey, you need to fill up your machines more often." And the lady says, "Well, that's a company, sir. That's not us." Well, the banks need to start thinking about filling up their their um, ATMs more often on paydays and Fridays or or whatever whatever days that that they get paid on here. You know, and, and that's that's a huge problem for people like us, expats. It's a it's a huge problem for Filipinos here because it's it's kind of kind of a hassle <laughs> when you have to go searching for an ATM all day. It's a waste of gas. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of your time. And I've spoken up to a few of these people a few times because I've been in line and I'll see somebody up in front of me and they'll be right right directly in front of me and I've caught a few of these people before and I and. Uh, they say it's legal for them to do this here. I'm not sure if it is or, or, is, or it isn't. And um, I understand they're performing a service for people. But the problem here is this. Is that when they do it, you got to stand there and wait. Now, some of these people will do four or five transactions. They'll let somebody go, do a quick transaction. Then they jump back, back in and they start doing something again. Because they know that people are waiting and people do get pissed off. But sometimes it's as many as 30 people there, but they're still doing all those transactions while you're waiting in line. They might let one person get up there, do a quick transaction, then they jump in and do two or three more, then let another person in. But it still kills your time. But it kills. It also kills the ATM. And it wastes my time. It wastes your time. And it wastes everybody else's time. And I hope banks take note of this because they need to put a sticker on the machine that says two transactions at a time. And it has to be a big sticker. And hopefully they do something about that, but I really doubt that they will, because guess what? It's more fun in the Philippines. And, um, you know, it's 
it's it, it is a, it is a hassle we talk about this ATM thing quite often um, that banks need to take note of of this but they really need to need to take note of the loan sharks that's where the problem is I go up here sometimes to um, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven used to be my, my secret place where you could go and get money. Not too many people knew about it. Suddenly, guess what? The loan sharks found out about it. So they fill it up, and guess what? It's empty. You, you go up there at 11 o'clock. They were first thing in the morning when the place, you know, when they load up that machine. Guess who's there first? The loan sharks. That's right. Because it's a quiet place up there. They can stand in there for a half an hour, 45 minutes, doing their, all their banking stuff, and there's not a huge line in there. But the problem is for the for the people that come later, it's dead empty. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about that today because a lot of people wonder why the ATMs are empty. And somebody was talking about this the other day. We had talked about this, um, I believe it was like about a year and a half or two years ago. Plus, we talked about it after that. But I talked about this aspect of it before. And I wanted to bring it up again because it is something, it is kind of a hassle you need to kind of seek out certain ATMs that the loan sharks don't seek out too much. They don't like going to the banks too much when there's a bank um, guard there or something like that because they get kicked out and they make them go all the way to the end of the line. And that's where they probably would deserve to be because with all those transactions. So they only let them do like two transactions sometimes. Some banks don't care. Some of the guards don't care. They'll let these people stand there for, you know, for an hour if they want to. Once they get up to the front, guess what? That ATM is theirs. And and some banks will tell them, hey, you got two transactions if somebody speaks up or something. So you need to speak up. If you're if you're there and there's a guard there, say, hey, this person's a loan shark and they got like about 30 ATM cards up there and they're holding up the line. And usually the guard will say, ma'am or sir, you have to go to the end of the line and you have to take care of all your transactions. You know, two at a time so you're gonna have to go to the end of the line and restart again and that's the way they should be doing it but a lot of these people they're very they're kind of rude to be honest with you because they they do hold up everything god bless guys take care i hope you enjoyed today's show